Eyewitness News. Coverage you can count on continues. The death of a Providence homeless man went unnoticed to most, but a group of five musicians refuses to let him go. They're using their talent to create a lasting tribute to his memory and try to prevent others from meeting the same fate. Eyewitness News reporter Walt Buto has the details in tonight's street story. It's all happening in an old Pawtucket mill building, a hard rocker trying to help a lost loved one. Behind the beat is a fresh memory of a close friend. And it still hurts. Uh, he became homeless. This is tough. Uh, and he ended up passing away by himself. Alone and eating out of dumpsters on the streets of Providence after losing a well-paying job to the recession and a home to foreclosure. The final blow before the end was a brain aneurysm. It was just like a snowball effect and then he eventually became homeless and he was trying to get himself back on his feet. Graham turned the grief into words. Feeling ashamed. No one should ever be left. Mother holds a child, she begins to pray. After writing the music, he mixed in three friends. And nationally known rocker Jamie Fletcher agreed to sing the lead. Add it up and it's five guys who care, singing Now or Never in seven countries so far. A rejected letter asking for help from the president brought clarity to how Graham wants to fight homelessness. You cannot rely on the government. You need, we need to stand together as citizens, as Americans. You're never going to stop it. You're never going to stop hunger and homelessness. But we can do everything we can to stop it from growing and slow it down and help those in need that we can help. So far they've sold about 300 copies, but thanks to some other gigs, they've donated about $5,000 to the problem. You can find out more by heading to our websites. In Pawtucket, Walt Buteau, Eyewitness News.